It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 the tackle by yeah Jordan. things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space i think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run on second and nine allen and nearly an interception here on their opening drive but instead third down a lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Throwing his Allen on third. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Here's the call. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Brings up second. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun now, here's an inside kill. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Picking up where they left off before the open week that they had last week as they won going into that. And no signs of being stale. No, and that's really big for them because there's a trust factor that goes into this. Because what often happens, if you win the game before your open week, you should get more time off. But if you win the game before the week, get more time on, they don't play well the next time out, that goes away. So they're making a statement that they like that time off. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And they'll line up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he's got it wrong. Chargers first down is good running. Gets him to about the 44. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Pass for 20. Across the formation, he's got a man in the touchdown on the year and the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up and it's up and good Seven. Mike Badgley to kick off for the Chargers each team's had it each team has scored 7-7 Seven -seven here as the kick's away fielded a couple yards into the end zone and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Ryan Kerrigan in on the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Looking to throw on second down. Allen eluding the pressure right. And this one's incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis. But now it'll be third down. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the gun, it's Allen. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Some booze coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. And he comes back with one complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, they get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. They're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball. But you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great effort there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Bills have taken the lead. 
That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The Charger drive about to get going. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Through one corner, 14 7, our score. Bills 14, Chargers 7. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is Cohen. Get three up the midfield. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's a train right side, taken in by his tight end. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Cohen. Darren Lee there to get him down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They run. This is Cohen. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Tariq Cohen. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. It's caught in the 10. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his sixth touchdown of the season. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. At their own 25-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. The 
last run got six. Now second and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. That is caught by Cohen. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Herbert on first down now. And this is taken in by Darnell Moody. And they'll get him down he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around a first down as well. Good strong throw and catch right there and so far in this game the alleys have been open for them to get completions and they're taking advantage of it. On first down it's Herbert. Knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again. Herbert. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Third and six. away takes this about five yards deep and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 the bills come to the line to start their next drive and last time the formula was pretty simple one play drive long pass so maybe they just want to do that again right and that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Throwing on second down. Allen. That's complete to Davis. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Picked by Tracy Walker. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And his kick is right through. Makes the score. Chargers 28. Bills 21. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Around 26-yard line. 
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they get the ball moving again. Well, we'll see if they can do it here. It's a gain of eight, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Eight yards on the pick. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from that. And he fires one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Allen, that's sort of a second quarter to forget for him to have two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. And that is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, Make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again, Herbert escaping the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Here he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. He tried to set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. It'll go as a loss on the play. Now what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder... Because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. But I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? After the turnover, here's Herbert. He fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. It's the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room. They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. So after the INT, it's Allen. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. From the two now, second and goal. Now Allen. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. Well, bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Now a timeout called for by the defense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half.
Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. From the gun, Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great play there. As the first half is winding down. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. The kick is. Good. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up and then you got a brand new ball game. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. And you see the clock almost empty. So this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. The end of the first so thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Taken about seven yards deep. Charger drive about to get going. Now we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. He's by himself. Keenan Allen. The 30. The 20. 10. Touchdown. Keenan Allen. With two touchdowns on the season. Both in this game. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Michael Batchley lining up for him. We didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. Heavy rush, and down he goes. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly, partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fade. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll be left with a third down and long. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Going deep for Diggs. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. He's picked up for his own 46. And they will finally stop him, but a great return gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, 
but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. They lost four there, and it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. They'll drop this one down to Cohen. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the one-yard line. They'll run for it with Tony Cohen, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Tariq Cohen with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. A shotgun snap for Herbert, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. At their own 28-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown in. Frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. At their own. 25-yard line. The 
the Charger drive about to get going. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. pickup brings up second and four at the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They try again with Cohen. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. On first and ten, Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Chargers, 44 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout, and they hook up again for another big play. Throwing quickly, and Herbert completes it, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. From the five, second and four. And now he'll tuck it and run. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Call it a three-yard gain. And that is going to set up a third and one. Third and one. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. That's the score. Chargers 49. Bills 31. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. 27 yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now. Because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at the 42-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by Milano scrimmage. Number five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. 
trying to keep them from walking down a game. But right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's fourth down. Here's Michael Badgley now for the Chargers field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns. Now it's a 21-point game. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. Takes this about five yards deep. And he returns this to the 22. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Play action. Now it's Allen. Finding knocks there. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Flushed out right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen to throw once more. Steps away to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw again, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills cut into that lead. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again, it's Cohen. able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock.
clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. That's right into the arms of Allen. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 38 yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 38. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down now, it's Patterson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And seven. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. A four-yard gain. It's fourth down. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again. Allen. Now a desperation throw deep depth. This is caught inside the 15. And he's taken down all the way inside the LA 10. A big game there for the Bills. 48 yards. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked by Tracy Walker. Today's final score. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So, for the Chargers, it's a win that might keep them alive in the playoff race as they're back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. So, that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long, everybody.